Richard Glossop is an American man who gained significant attention due to his case involving a death penalty sentence. Richard Glossop was born on May 9, 1963, in Battle Creek, Michigan, United States. Glossop was convicted for the 1997 murder of Barry Van Trees, the owner of a motel in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. He was accused of hiring a co-worker, Justin Sneed, to carry out the murder. In 1998, Glossop was sentenced to death. He has consistently maintained his innocence. Glossop's case has attracted significant controversy and attention from advocates against the death penalty. The case garnered widespread media coverage, especially after the release of a documentary titled, Killing Richard Glossop, in 2017. Over the years, Glossop's defense team has pursued various appeals and legal challenges to overturn his conviction and sentence. Several execution dates have been set and subsequently stayed, resulting in ongoing legal battles. Glossop's case has raised concerns about the reliability of the evidence and witness testimonies used to convict him. Supporters and activists argue that there is insufficient evidence to establish Glossop's direct involvement in the murder, and have called for a thorough review of the case. Richard Glossop is a documentary film that focuses on the case of Richard Glossop, a man who has been on death row in Oklahoma since 1998. Directed by Joe Berlinger, the documentary examines the controversial circumstances surrounding Glossop's conviction for murder and his ongoing fight for justice. The documentary explores the inconsistencies and potential flaws in the case against Glossop, who has maintained his innocence throughout the years. It delves into the evidence, witness testimonies, and legal proceedings that led to his conviction, raising questions about the fairness of the justice system and the use of the death penalty. The film sheds light on Glossop's legal battles and the efforts of his defense team, as well as the advocacy work of individuals and organizations seeking to prevent his execution. It addresses larger issues related to capital punishment and the potential risks of wrongful convictions.